Okay, so here we are in Began City. Geez, even with the gimbal, I don't know how this is going to go because look what we're doing. And here's our driver. Say hi. Hi. All right, here we go. We are in Old Vegan. Look how cool this is. Hey, what do you think? Hi. It's wiggling all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we're on a little Calessa ride here. Chilling out. Check this out. We were out here earlier this afternoon and, well, there was like nobody out here because it was hot. It was like noon. Oops, wrong zipper. Yeah. Noon to uh, one o'clock, something like that. Because we were waiting to check in our hotel. And, um,. We stopped along some of these shops here and walked along these old Spanish roads. And now they're all out. Now they're all here. Everybody's here. Look at this. We drove up today from San Juan. Hey, wake up. Go make some money. <laughs> he's sleeping. He's taking a day off. Maybe. Now this guy, he doesn't know that I'm qualified and licensed to drive a Calessa. And if you don't believe that, all you have to do is go see one of my videos. Oh, from a couple years ago, maybe almost three years ago, where I drove a Calessa in Tondo. That's right. My horse's name was Tonton. So we're just going to take in a ride and see what happens. Wow, look at all them Kalesas over there. Now, for those of you that don't know, Kalesa used to be the primary means of public transportation way back at the turn of the last century in the early 1900s. But World War II changed that. Uh, you can go and read the history for yourself, but it absolutely did. Why the horse just stayed? He doesn't. He's tired. He doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> They're tired from running around all day, pulling people like you and me. Yeah. Las Burgess. There's a church. Earthquake. The earthquake caused some damage to it. Last year? July 27th, month, 2022. Yeah. Quite a church. But it suffered some damage from an earthquake in 2022, is what the driver's telling us. Looks like they're doing some repairs to it. That's nice. The Spanish architect here is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> and this is where past meets present in this city. You'll see all the old architectural that's the dancing fountain yes at night time it, it lights up really nice and 
You couldn't do a vlog on this without a gimbal, a, you know, stabilizer. Trust me, you're all bouncing all over the place, so. There. Here we are. Hello. Look at everybody waving. So. Whose brothers? The city mayor. And? And Governor. Governor and the mayor are brothers? No, you're kidding. And There's no way that's possible. Really? <laughs> So several of these buildings here in Vegan have been uh, rescued and saved and uh, refurbished to some degree, but uh, left intact pretty much because they have sig historical significance from the past. There, there were homes of presidents, governors, important people throughout the history of Vegan City and the Philippines. And the priest, um, Burgos, and what's the other This is the birthplace of Father Burgos. Burgos, I should say. It's a national museum now. So, yeah, that's what I told you about. Down that way. Down here is the birthplace of one of the presidents. Carino? Carino. President Carino. His birthplace is there. And I couldn't tell you when he was president. Uh, my Philippine history is pretty good, but not that detailed. So anyway, let's go. Let's. Okay. Open place for the sunset. And he, we'll give him extra, Tom. Well, he can stay with us. Place to grab a beer and a sunset, right? A few kilometers now. We're cruising here with our Kalesa and our driver. Look at that. How cool is that? Sit back, have you a cold, whatever. What is you what do you got? You got one of those uh, Mogu. Mogu thingies. She likes those so. That's cool. There's a museum. Hard to get a fix on it while the horses. 
pounding away there. I'm trying to give you a pretty good look here. Yeah, having a cold one. Or two. Very historical and very old city. Vegan city. I'm not... I've read about some of the history about it. It's really interesting. But I'm not going to try to be your personal historian. Go look it up. Google it. Vegan city. In the Ilocosur province on Luzon in the Republic of the Philippines. And you can see all these buildings. A lot of times this is where the past meets the present, of course. And there's some more up close personal things I'd like to show you that makes this a very unique place. Um, well worth the visit. And we drove up from San Juan La Union this morning. We want to spend a couple days here. Take a look around. Chillaxin. These particular streets in these neighborhoods are extremely narrow. And there's hotels and resorts all over the place here. Restaurants beyond comprehension, so many. You can see the mountains just right there. I mean, we're surrounded by them here. But imagine, when these, when these, when these collapses were in play, Back at the turn of the century, back in the early 1900s, maybe even a little before that, um, you didn't see no motorcycles, no tricycles. Some, some of these buildings have been standing around for like ever, and I mean forever. The, the window is made out of the piece. This tells you there's construction going on there, as well as over there. It's just, it's a really quaint, cozy little setting. I, I'm sure they have their city life issues, population issues. But it's very charming. It seems to be very relaxing. You can see the brick, the old original brick up there. Now some buildings actually rebuilt with it looking like the original brick, but it's not, you can tell the difference. It just has a wonderful charm and uh, inviting melody to it. come off the paved road onto some original brick road and hey grandpa's inn and restaurant that looks pretty cool I don't know. the current mayor yeah. okay here's the house of the current mayor huh? hey wait a minute I think we should stop here I think he owes me some money no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Mayor's house. Anytime I pass by somebody's house that like is, you know, 
famous or popular or important, I always say, oh, hey, wait a minute, doesn't he owe me money? <laughs> Why not, right? Stop and say, hey, dude, you remember that 50 I loaned you? Put up a little bit of an argument with him and maybe get invited in for a beer, you know? You never know. You never know. Yeah, I couldn't tell you if this gimbal stable or not. I'll find out when I go rewatch the video before I post it or upload it. This is what a stabilizer is supposed to be for, but. All these cobblestone type. Casa de Leon. My daughter, my daughter owns that. <laughs> Casa Alcantara. 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 Okay, you say tomato, I say tomato. Okay. <laughs> Alcantara. Yeah. There you go. Get the hell out of it. Don't be coming through the intersection when we're coming through. My horse will kick your ass. <laughs> Paid him well. Just really original and so old, these buildings. Still, still being used. You can see how they smooth coat concrete over some of the old original brick for years. But it falls off and they redo it. Like that, look at that. I know. What are we doing? Oh, the uh, empanada and always. I don't <laughs> know what you're trying to do, Ray. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's okay, Kuya. Kami po lang. What, you want to go uh, here or something? Or? No, no, no. Oh. oh. Okay. Babalik kami dyan. Remember the empanada? Yeah, the empanada here is supposed to be the best. Yeah, they got, they got Look at this building. Unbelievable. Contrast with a modern day building. Can you look at the roads? Lots of pizza, okay. 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 See, here's the modern. Here's today, Cafe Evelyn, and here's yesterday. Look at that. And I mean, way, way yesterday. So, this is the street our hotel is on, and so we're heading back. You see a lot of people down here. There's a lot of shops. This is where you get a lot of your souvenirs. There's a lot of places to eat here. Um, some, I think there's some bars and things like that for some nightlife. And a ton of calessas. But this is the way travel should be. So fun place to come and hang out and learn some history if you don't know any. Um, and I think just just digging and asking questions and fi finding out about the history alone um, as you're cruising around and eating and a little bit of shopping or whatever it is you're doing, I, I think you'll you'll have a good time. I really do. Um, with that, I think even if you know the history of this place, top to bottom. And if you've never been here, if you come here, I think it'll be a rewarding experience. It's pretty cool. Oh, well, we're almost home, that's why. Okay, now I'm starting to recognize stuff. I'm like, okay, I've seen that sign. A lot of people are out tonight. This afternoon, nobody. It was just 
really hot, really, really hot. Okay. Malayo ba yung ano siya okay nayon? Malapit. Alright, we're gonna stop. Yeah. Peace out, and we'll uncut the pot, guys. Your taxi ride is over, Kalesa. <laughs> Our driver did a good job. Peace out, guys. Campo. Go to that side and hug hug his neck. He ain't gonna hurt you. There, she's saying goodbye to her pony. <laughs> All right, man, take care. Okay, so the price was like for that that roundabout there for about good. Uh, 45 minutes maybe, something like that. Like 300 pesos, something like that. Maybe 400, you kind of work it out, whatever. But see, they just come, one right after another. Uh, listen, we give him 700 pesos because that's just, uh, we, we appreciate what he did. and he, explained, he talked to us a little bit. He just wasn't, you know, a lazy guy, whatever. He was trying to show us a few things. This, that, and the other. We're probably going to do another one tomorrow. Take care.